Hey guys, it's Pastor Scott, and I am super duper excited. <laughs> so excited that I couldn't even wait to open this, but uh, this is something that I've been looking at for years. Uh, Allen Bible, an Allen Premium Bible. I ordered it over the weekend, last weekend, and uh, sent them an email, and they said that they were closed until Monday, and that they would ship it out Monday or Tuesday. Well, I actually got the shipping confirmation this Monday, <clears throat> and uh, they said they would ship it out Royal Mail from the UK, and uh, it would take about two weeks to get here. Well, I was praying because we're going on a uh, mission trip to Belize next week, and I would like to have uh, a good, solid preaching Bible to take with me, one that I can carry with me on the plane and in the airports. And, and should the Lord speak, I would have a Bible to open up and, and uh, nail what I said down to God's Word instead of my words as well as He speaks to me through His Word uh, quite frequently. So this actually showed up. Uh, they mailed it Monday. It is now Saturday, six days from the UK, Royal Mail to Southern California, and like I said, I was so excited I had to open it up, so here is kind of a unboxing <laughs> of an unboxing, amen? So here's how it comes. Not sure if you guys can see this very well because um, of the angle. I don't have my tripod. It's out in the car or whatnot because we do go live uh, quite frequently, but you can see right there it is an Allen 53 long primer King James reference Bible in black Highland goat skin and it includes the concordance and um, I am flipping out right now. I mean, I got this there. They only run a certain amount each year and the long primers, the 53s are, are long gone and you can only get them uh, through distributors or private parties, but they are marked way up because of the limited run. But this one I found, they had some that they dug up that had some maybe minor um, things with them, with the, either the gilding on the side or maybe some uh, ink that poured onto the page a little bit or whatnot. So let's see um, what's going on. So I got it at a discounted price. So here you go. Like I said, I already opened it up. These are handmade and they're binded in... Europe, somewhere, it's a Scottish company, but they now are in London, but this is an R.L. Allen 53, and it comes packaged, like I said, in this wonderful, nice blue box, very simple, nice texture, I'm just going to get through this, because I do want to kind of keep it short, because I might be able to use the app and upload it to YouTube if it's not too long, so it comes like this, let me just take it out, um, the King James version, and these are, this is the the cream of the crop. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't get any better than this. Some people might argue the different um, uh, where they're bound, whether it's Young Blood or Charfleet or Chant or whatever might be different, um, and I'm sure they are. But it's still a Allen King James version of the Bible, as you can see right there. I hope you can see. <laughs> Let me just scoot this up a little bit. So I'm just really excited. It's supposed to be a lifetime Bible, but you know how rough I am, guys, with my stuff. It's going to be really hard. Um, we'll see. <laughs> so let me take out these ribbons. They're really beautiful. And we'll just see how well this is. So I hope you guys can see. I believe this is bound by Charfleet, not Youngblood. And I believe there's also another one, Chant binding, and several different bindings. But it's absolutely beautiful. You can see it has a generous yap. This is called a yap, for those of you that don't know. It's that overhang. And at first sight, I wasn't really sold on it. I didn't know if I liked it or I didn't like it. But it definitely has an old-fashioned feel. And then the way that I beat up Bibles, it really dawned on me that this is going to come and really handy for me because I take my Bible with me everywhere. I mean, it's it's on the dashboard, it's alongside of me, it goes in uh, to the store with me or out to dinner, wherever we go, because I never know when the Lord is going to speak or when I'm going to have to minister. So this is the Allen Bible, and they said that it had some minor uh, issues, 
maybe imperfections. And I see that there is a little bit of a, a little bit up here towards the end where the notes are, you can see here. And then I noticed when I was flipping through this earlier that down here on the bottom on one of the pages, there was a little bit of, bit of bleed through. I mean, I'm talking minute, but overall this thing is, this is brand new. It's just awesome. The, the leather just feels amazing. In comparison, I had a Cambridge Concord little reference Bible. I believe the size is about the same, the actual text block. But here, the difference that we have here is this generous lap, yap. And then these ribbons are just long and beautiful. Let me put, let me put them back in and uh, show you guys how long they stick out. And I like to use this for Old Testament maybe poetry, and then the uh, New Testament, because I like to read my, do my three Ps in the morning, pray first thing, and open the word to the psalm for the day. Today is the 30th, so I read Psalm 30, and then Proverb 30, and then I'll go back and read from the Old Testament, and then the evening, the New Testament. So having three of these works really good for that. I get my psalms and my Proverbs in the middle, work throughout the day through the uh, Old Testament, and then New Testament in the evening before I go to sleep. Alrighty, but look how long they are. Isn't that awesome? I can't see if you guys are commenting or if you're seeing or how you're seeing. I won't be able to see it till I record it. I decided to use the front camera here so that the quality would be better. But yeah, there is a little bit of bleed here. They said it would be there. This is why it was discounted. But I like that. I mean, save the money. <laughs> And to actually have one because they are out of print is absolutely wonderful. So I'm not going to go into all the details. It smells beautiful. It holds beautiful. And it is Smith-Sewn, edge-lined, paste, pasted in with the leather. Should, uh, should last a while. We'll see. I'll let you know in uh, about a year's time, maybe around next Christmas, how this thing held up. God bless you guys. This is Pastor Scott, my new preaching Bible. Souls are going to be saved by the preaching of the word. Keep us in prayer. We're leaving to uh, Belize next week. Uh, I believe on uh, Wednesday or Thursday, Philip. Depends. I think the kids need uh, uh, some of our help. And then also I have some schooling to finish. So we'll, we'll be either leaving on the 4th or the 5th. And then we'll drive to Las Vegas. And then on the 6th, we'll be flying out to Belize for a mission trip with uh, the God's 10 people, Philip and Susie. And then we'll come back for a couple of weeks. And God willing, we will be going to Indonesia, where the pastor has invited 200, homeless, uh, 200 blind uh, people and 100 chaperones. And we're going to see what the Lord wants to do. I thought that was a pretty bold move. And I've never heard of it before, specifically inviting blind people and seeing what the Lord's going to do. So Pastor Scott, check it out. I love you. God bless you guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you need anything at all, call us at 1-855-70-JESUS.